Welcome to our first Software Snack Time snippet presented by Extivia. My name is Debbie Pollard. I'm a cloud software consultant at Extivia. And today, Sarit Halamish will be joining us to discuss how to get started with Monday.com. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here. My name is Sarit Shalamish, and I am the channel partner manager over at Monday.com. And yeah, it's great to be with you and would love to kind of dive into the platform and see where we can shed some light. I know that Monday helps us manage our projects, our teams, and our workflows, but how do we get started? Yeah, that's a great question. I, I'm obviously here on a pretty built out uh, dashboard, but I think one of the things that come to mind, you know, is do not start from scratch, right? Monday has been around and has been working with a lot of clients, actually over a hundred thousand different companies use us. So you can benefit from a lot of those learnings by first of all, looking at our template store, because one of the nice things is you can actually see some templates that might be relevant to you. And we have different solutions like marketing. Maybe you're looking to achieve some workflows around HR and hiring, and perhaps you're more into design and you want to see what offerings we have there. So my computer is slightly slow right now, but for instance, if I have an office operations, I know Debbie, you and I were just working on a use case like that. It's a... Um, it's a doctor's office and they need to order supplies. So they don't have to start from scratch. They can get this board and this board and start using the existing boards in order to leverage the learnings of other clients. They, so can, they can also customize this board to their correct. business, right? Correct. So they can, for instance, grab this um, this item, the vendors list, they can create the board from here. And this is my first private board here. This is excellent. Now let's say I don't need, you know, one of these columns. I can just delete it if I wanted, or I could add a new column to the right. Now you, you'll see these are the usual suspects, right? Like these are pretty frequently used column types, like the status column, the text column, the person or people column, what's the timeline, the date, etc. But we have more where that came from. So you can actually get really creative and access a, a host of different options. One of the new favorites I've seen across my client accounts is the sub items. So Perhaps you want to create different sub items to the supermarket list, let's say. So you might need item one and you might need item two over here. And these might have different owners. So right now I'm kind of all alone in this account, but I could invite others from my company to join me. Okay. And then I can assign them to different tasks as we go along. And again, this could be multiple people to a task, right? So, oh, actually this person was not in the account, so it might not be useful. Let's go back here. All right, so now, that we're using this list, we're actually able to go in and check on some items. Um, item one is crucial. Let's ensure availability, right? So I don't need to call my colleague or to send her an email, which would take me a lot longer than just writing this thing. And for her to get the context of what I'm asking for, right? Once she's getting this update, she will know exactly what I'm talking about because she sees the board. She would see, oh, this is the item 
She will come in here, she could respond in the conversation and she can also go in here and we can change the labels as you all know, right? We can actually call this one urgent. And now we're talking about the urgency of those items availability and so on. So we can get really creative as you said, and we can customize the boards from the templates. That concludes this snippet. Thank you, Sarit, for sharing all that information and thank you everyone for tuning in. Come back next week for another software snack time snippet.